about I haven't made a video of it in a while. I've added quite a few more parts to it. It's December 26th. Uh, I put the side pipe covers on. They're just kind of screwed on there. I'll put them on correctly later on. Things driving a whole lot better. Uh, that $500 extra motor that I bought after I bought this rebuild engine, it had a new Edelbrock carburetor on it. And I think it works a lot better than the one that I had on there. The one I had on there was kind of loading up. And I got the back bumpers just kind of put on. It's kind of worked out where it's been a good thing for me to do a temporary paint job on it. Since I've never put one of these cars together, I'm having to pre-fit things and see how they go on and getting a few little nicks and scratches here and there. So, you know, when I take parts back off and then do a real nice paint job on this car, uh, hopefully I'll have everything to where it's already pre-fit. I've been driving it a whole bunch. I can't quit driving it. You know, I kind of catch heck from a lot of the viewers about how you're not doing this right or you're not doing that right. But a lot of the things that I'm doing to this car are just temporary, you know? Uh, I don't know where people come from on that stuff. Some people uh, pay somebody to build their cars or they buy turnkey cars. So they don't understand that sometimes you gotta put something together as you can just to get around the block and have a little bit of fun with it. Keep the interest going in the project. <laughs> One of them I caught the most heck over was my throttle linkage. Before it was made of wire. Now, in this day and age, you can't just run down to the auto parts store and buy a new throttle linkage. You also can't go to the wrecking yard and get one because it's been a long time since they put those on. So anyway, I had to order one. <laughs> I couldn't get one. I thought I had one somewhere in all my stuff, but I didn't. Also the headlight buckets. I've been kind of glad that I haven't had those on there because while I work on the engine, it's been kind of nice to be able to stand right in here and lean over and work on it. But uh, I'm missing one part to them and they reproduce that part. It's like 79 bucks. It's one side's uh, oh, adjusting cam or whatever. Not the stopper, but the uh, deal that that, that limiter uh, screws to. I'm missing one side of those. Anyway, uh, eventually I'll get it all put together and I'll get it all put together right. But you know what? I'm not gonna wait until I have it all put together right before I take my first drive. This is, you know, like I said, I'm not a, a turnkey shop or anything like that, you know, and that's the way you pick them up from the turnkey shop where everything is correct and you spend about $80,000 having it restored. So this car right here, I have very, very little money in it. <laughs> I paid quite a bit to get the car, but you know, just piecing it together and I got all these parts, but in the boxes, but I'm having to figure out where it all goes and how it all goes. I've got an assembly manual that looked like it was uh, drawn by a fourth grader. No offense to fourth graders, but anyway, and then copied about 10 times. So it's kind of hard to make sense of that. But anyway, uh, slowly but surely, I am correcting some of the things that I pieced together just to get around the block. And I'm glad I've done it this way, because like I said, I'm having a blast with my project. I've still got to wire the whole car up. I've still got to uh, hook up my tachometer and my speedometer. I got all brand new wires for it. And I want to take my time whenever I put that on. I guess I'll take it for a drive. Man, the new, that, that carburetor is really a nice one. They said it wasn't that old and I believe they were right. I love my little test drive proving grounds. For a long time, they never had trains on these tracks back here. I grew up right here by this area. And just here in the last few years, they finally started using those tracks. But anyway, this car is super powerful. Oh my gosh. I haven't even hardly
already gotten into it uh, you know because I still consider it a new motor I've changed all in it once already but the small block 